Hey folks, the Reynolds here. I want to talk a little bit about sizing gasifiers and the dimensions that are required for the throat and nozzle height and various other parameters. Now what I've got here is a spreadsheet that I've created based on the graphs available in the generator gas book and various other sources. I took the graphs sketched a curve from the graphs, basically derived an equation uh, from the from the graphs which to be fair is only accurate. I, I went from between 50 millimeters to 200 millimeters in throat diameter so anything below or beyond that I can't uh, can't really speak for but basically the idea is you insert your piston bore size here in millimeters stroke length in millimeters, number of cylinders, the rated RPMs, and some estimated figures, the percentage somewhere between 25 and 30 percent efficiency for an internal combustion engine, uh, and a gasifier thermal efficiency which is over 70 percent generally based on what I've read, could be as high as 90 percent um, tell it the number of air nozzles and the hearth load which from what I've read again is between 0.3 and 0.9 cubic meters per hour per square centimeter of throat size so what this does is it tells you based on these constants here 17 megajoules per kilogram of energy in a in biomass with 14 percent moisture content these are variables you can you can put these change these to change these um, anyway this tells us that at 17 megajoules uh, per kilogram that my 17 horsepower rated engine should have a rated horsepower or an output of 14.85 horsepower running on wood gas. Uh, I need to have a throat diameter of 5.44 centimeters or 2.14 inches, a fire cone or hearth diameter of 20.87 centimeters, 8.22 inches. My nozzles should be 3 inches roughly above the throat with a diameter of 5.71 inches total in the ring. Now there's another way that I've done this. I've made another spreadsheet here where I just directly input the rated horsepower of my engine into it and we get some slightly different numbers here because this doesn't take into account the bore or stroke or compression ratio of the engine or anything like that. Um, so the numbers are slightly higher here instead of 5.44 centimeters I get almost 7 centimeters for a throat diameter so I would probably use these dimensions to air on the side of you know make my gas fire a little bit bigger uh, to make sure that it can do what I want it to do but I'm gonna rely on these numbers a little bit better uh, as far as actual performance variables the gas throughput what the gas intake rate uh, with a volumetric efficiency of 0.8 should be 20.94 cubic meters per hour through a 535 cubic centimeter engine so this I think is more reliable as far as actual output numbers whereas this these these numbers here for throat diameter and, and fire cone diameter and all that I think are going to be better as far as um, trying to size a gasifier. It's going to give you a little bigger gasifier uh, so that you're not running short when you're trying to really throttle your engine. So anyway, let's talk about this. Give me some comments. Tell me what you think about it. Um, maybe some more input, more expertise on this. and. These two spreadsheets are slightly different here. This one's rated in kilojoules per kilogram instead of megajoules per kilogram, which, you know, it's just a mathematical difference, a scaling factor difference, but it doesn't really matter. Um, anyway, Reynolds out.